Hello and welcome to SW19, home of the Wimbledon Tennis Championships, which is broadcast every year to more than a billion people worldwide. I'm here to meet IBM, the technology and innovation partner for the championships, to find out how they're bringing artificial intelligence and advanced data insights to this audience. Chris, we're here on the, uh, the roof of the broadcast centre, under which is where the tech bunker is, where IBM does all its operations here at, uh, at Wimbledon. If you could just kind of give us a bit of an overview of, of IBM's role here, first of all. IBM has been Wimbledon's technology and innovation partner for 30 years, um, since 1990. And if you think about the championships here, then only about 473,000 people can come and watch the matches in person. But Wimbledon needs to project its brand all around the world. And we provide the digital platforms to enable Wimbledon to do that. So tell us a bit more about what you do here at IBM. What does that involve? So we're doing data collection, and that's on the, at the court side. And then we're using that data to amplify it out to fans through those digital platforms all around the world. So what's the user base for these data insights that you're creating? So we're catering for all sorts of different types of users. Uh, we provide services that Wimbledon provides to help the players um, here at the Championship. But we also have to help Wimbledon to reach a wide variety of different types of fans all around the world, not just the ones that are here. So as part of the digital services we provide, we try and understand those fans that are only interested in Wimbledon as their sporting event for the year, right through to those that want to follow matches as they unfold with great analytical insights. So now we've come downstairs into the IBM tech bunker. Chris, what happens down here? So we have uh, two rooms where we run the operations for Wimbledon. And it begins with data collection, which is in our room next door. And then we run the infrastructure and the amplification of the data in this room. And uh, presumably there must be some challenges you have to face with the, the collection of this data. Yeah, so the data collection, uh, we employ 48 uh, tennis players from county, national and international levels as part of our IBM team here at Wimbledon. And we employ tennis players to sit the court side, at the court side, so two per course and three on the show courts. And they're capturing the speed of serve, direction of serve, the return shot selection, the shot that won or lost the rally, and the number of forehands and backhands that each player plays. And we aim to capture all of that data completely accurately within one second of the point finishing. So in here, we are um, run, showing how we run the whole operation on the IBM cloud, and that is a hybrid cloud because of the complexity of the processes to take that data and then um, create a fabulous experience through the digital platforms that we provide to Wimbledon. Can you just give us an example of some of the kind of the applications that you run on this infrastructure? So one of the uh, examples is we are using artificial intelligence to detect the emotion of the crowd through sound analytics to give a particular score of that at the end of the point. And we're also using artificial intelligence on the video analytics of the gestures of the players in terms of their reaction at the end of the point. So things like fist pumps. And that helps Wimbledon to identify the most important clips very quickly so they can share them on social media or whatever and produce that whole video package automatically of the highlights two minutes after the match finishes. There's a lot going on here with so much data collection analysis. How do you ensure this is resilient? One of the things that we have to be able to do is scale the infrastructure by 55,000% in order to support the demands of the fans when there's epic matches going on. So we can only really do that with cloud because that gives us that huge upswell in capacity, but it also allows us to optimise the cost of using that infrastructure because we can flex up and down dynamically during the championships in response to the demand. So now I'm here with Alex from the All England Lawn Tennis Club. Alex, why is it important that you're able to implement some of these new technologies that we're seeing here today at Wimbledon? Well, Wimbledon is a proudly traditional brand. Uh, we're so lucky to have the grass courts, the white clothing, the strawberries, all of the things that really make Wimbledon unique and, and differentiate it. But we also recognise that we can't just be traditional, we have to be innovative as well. We have to be forward looking, we have to acknowledge what our consumers expect of us. And so technology plays such a fundamental role in helping us preserve our traditions, actually using innovation to keep them relevant and make sure that Wimbledon will be as strong in the future as it is today. We're talking now about you know, kind of real-time insights, data, artificial intelligence and all things like that. Can you tell us a bit about how 
this kind of technology setup here has kind of evolved over time. If you look back through the, the sort of history of sport in the last 10 years, it's reacted a lot to technology change. So you think about the advent of the internet, the advent of live scoring, the advent of mobile phone apps, live data, personalization, alerts, favorites, all that kind of stuff. And we're actually in a position now where we think that sport is starting to drive some of the agenda in the way that technology develops. So the use of AI to generate real-time content, cloud hosting to scale for the biggest moments. It's easy to forget that sport actually drives some of the biggest conversations that we have um, uh, you know, throughout any, any given year. And that's just such an opportunity for an event like Wimbledon to be at the forefront of that change, not necessarily always leading it, but certainly trying to deliver it in the best way that we can. And we've seen this kind of demand from, from the public, from the users for this, um, for this really intricate yeah, real-time insights. You know, what, what, was it, what was it that really uh, led to that decision? Yeah, I mean, Wimbledon um, is a tennis tournament at its heart. That is what it is known for, and we need to protect that and make sure we stay true to it, but also acknowledge that it's a, a brand, and therefore we have to promote it. And our customers, our consumers, are not judging us on what we did last year. They're judging us on the best experience that they had yesterday or last week when they were buying something online or engaging with something. That's why it's so important to stay true to what we are, but leverage all of the opportunity around us that technology and, and changing media habits presents. So we've heard today how Wimbledon is about so much more than just a tennis championship. It's also a huge centre of tech activity. We've heard about technology such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data. But for now, it's time for some tennis.